Little movements, big movements, fast or slow, sarcomeres are always at work to make your body move. As muscles contract, actin moves past the myosin, shortening the sarcomere. When the muscle is fully contracted, the actin overlaps. But remember, actin and myosin are always the same length, regardless of whether the muscle is relaxed or contracted. During muscle contraction, Myosin attachment sites are exposed when calcium binds to troponin molecules, causing tropomyosin to move. Cross bridges are formed when the myosin heads bind to the exposed attachment sites on the actin, allowing phosphates to be released from myosin heads. Stored energy from myosin heads is used to move them, causing actin to move past myosin. The ADP molecules are then released from the myosin heads. Next, the ATP molecules bind to the myosin heads. When ATP is broken down to ADP and phosphates, cross bridges are released. Finally, in the recovery stroke, the heads of the myosin molecules return to their resting position and energy is stored in them.